Hey guys, it's Vox here with another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. For some reason, I am smacking the air with the bottle, but that's okay because we got it last episode, and I love it because it's a special bottle. So, in the last episode, um, well, I just told you what we did last episode. I got that bottle. Um, yeah, so, anyway, this episode, I'm excited for this episode because I, did I ever mention, well... If I ever mention in this Let's Play that I have completed 100% of Majora's Mask before, that is not true. I have completed about 99% of Majora's Mask. That 1% is what we're about to do, which is the Oceanside Spider House. Yes, so there are two Spider Houses in the game, not just the Swamp one that we did a couple episodes ago, but also this Ocean one. Um, I don't believe we came into this building. I mean... I may have hinted at what it was earlier, but I know I didn't explicitly say it. Um, but basically, yes, this building here to the left um, of the fisherman's hut is the Oceanside Spider House. So I will be using a guide I have open, um, ZeldaDungeon.net. And I'm also going to be speeding through it because even though I have a guide, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be pausing it to look at where they are so that way I don't take hours doing it. And Um... So, yeah, um, same thing kind of applies as before, being that, you know, you just, there's still 30 Sculptulas, or gold Sculptulas, you still want to, you know, get all their tokens. There's no guy in the front with the curse, though, so you really don't have much of an idea why you're doing this at this point. It doesn't really give you, like, a final objective or a goal. You're just kind of doing it, which is interesting. I kind of like that mood it sets. It's just, like, you're just... You're here, and there's only one thing to do, and it doesn't really explain it, yet you know what to do. I don't know. I, I just, I find that pretty cool. So, um, anyway. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, I'm going to be, well, I'm slowing down time right now because I forgot to do that earlier. Um, I'm going, I'm not going to speed up through the whole thing because there is something else I want to do here. There's more to do here than just getting to tokens from gold sculptulas. So, speed up.
Alright, so that's the majority of the spiders done. We got 24 of 30, not bad. But, of course, we're still not done. Now, there's one thing that I want to uh, talk about, which is if we come in here, which is the library room, um, you may have noticed that there were a couple of stall children, and also I put on my captain's hat. There is a reason for that. Uh, let's, uh, let's come to this one first. So, if we talk to him... Huh? Ah, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you've ordered, Sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. According to the information I have obtained, it seems Yellow should be shot sixth. That is important. Um, I will fulfill my duty, Sir. Yes. Ah, thank you, Sir. I hope the information I have provided will be of assistance to you, Sir. Now, as you ordered, Sir, I will finish the last of my duties. Yes, Sir. And he kills himself. Yeah. Anyway, um, I have, uh, I have just on my on notepad right now, um, on my computer, I have one and one through six, numbers one through six, and I have, I just put yellow down by six. You may want to keep track of these numbers, um, if you can do mentally, I guess that's better, but this, this is important, so it seems green should be shot first, okay, fill my duty, sir, yeah, we have, bye, <laughs> it gave me his heart. He left over his heart. I'm sorry for everything I did. The heart was beating and it stopped. And now it's gone. Okay, so, um, those are the only two that we've seen so far. Now, there's actually a room that I intentionally skipped that has the rest in them. There are four more. And, um, which would be, come downstairs, and it is the first room that we spot right here. And this room is a, a bit strange. This is also where the rest of the six spiders are, by the way. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of these guys, um, uh, sitting here. Kind of strange. Um, can I deselect you? I didn't, I don't want to target you guys. Right. Um, can I... Oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I burnt his hat off. That's nice. I'm, I'm so, I don't, I don't, I just don't want to target you guys. Uh, ha. And I have my bow loaded. <laughs> okay, maybe if I do this. There we go. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, so, um, before I deal with them, I'll go ahead and get the other spiders. Uh, by the way, these jars, if you look at the top of that one, see how it's, there's like a white top? Uh, some of them have black tops, like this one, although you can't really see it. Um, but that means it's kind of made to look like it's open, and the open jars have stars in them. That's kind of a little hint I could give. See, there you could really see it. Alright, so now we have 25. Uh, I feel bad for you, this guy. Let's see, I don't think these are open. Um... And I believe there's also a spider somewhere here. Oh, by the way, there's been these pictures of Skull Kid. Oh, well, there happens to be a spider there. Okay. Um, there's been these pictures of Skull Kid around, which is, I find really strange, considering that Skull Kid really doesn't have much to do with the lore in the um, Great Bay Area, which I find really interesting. So I, I really don't know what's going on with that, because even most of the evil around here has to do with the pirates. So I find it... I, I find it interesting. I That's something I may want to look up more. Uh, anyway, where's the spider? I sound like my history teacher. Is some something you want to look up more? You know, do some research on. Uh, anyway. So, now we have 27 of 30 spiders. That is a good number. Because the final three are really difficult. If you don't have a guide or you don't know what to do. Basically, if we look up, we see our final three spiders are in that chandelier. Now, how are we going to get them down? We need to turn into a Goron, stand on this table, curl up into a ball, and do a ground pound. And you don't... Uh, well, the headless guy's gone now. Uh, because I just killed him. It's actually going to give us a lot of help trying to figure out the code. I hope that he can respond. Anyway, so there we go. We got those final three. Got 30. Let me just go out and back in real quick and just hope that he responds. 
Because then it's gonna be difficult. Uh, okay, good. He's back. Thank you for being, you know, good. What well, I don't know. Okay. Um. Oh, by the way, they don't attack you. Um. Here, whether you have the captain's hat or not, it doesn't matter. So, but you do need the captain's hat to talk to them. All right. Blue should be shot second. I'll put that in my notepad. Okay. Yeah, you fulfilled your duties. Whatever. Go kill yourself. <laughs> now I feel bad. Alright, what about you, huh? Ah, huh? uh, Captain Sir has been like to do whatever. Blue should be shot fourth. Alright. He didn't leave me anything. Well, I guess the other one didn't leave me anything either, but why? There's only been that one that's so special, leaving me to heart. Um, anyway. What about you? Huh? Ah, Captain Sir is da da da. Green should be shot fifth. Yes, you have fifty ladies. I thought I heard my phone ring for a second. Apparently not. Huh? Huh? Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, da da. Green should be shot third. Have I fulfilled my duties? No, you haven't actually. But I will fulfill them for you! Ha 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 ha! Ah. Anyway, um. So I've gotten written down here the order. So. Uh, right, so what we're gonna do, get out our bow, and we're gonna stand on the table. Well, you don't have to stand on the table, but I'm gonna stand on the table because I wanna stand on the table. Alright, so we're going to shoot green, green, maybe, blue, green, and then blue, and then green, and then yellow. Oh, I red got left out. I'm sorry, Red. Alright, let's go. So, then this fireplace opens up to another place. Uh, see what I did there? And, um... Okay, sorry. I had to check something. Anyway, fireplace opens up to another place, and here we have the boss of the dungeon, the Skulchula... Oh, never mind. Okay, so... In this chest... We get a piece of heart. Hooray! Oh, that reminds me, by the way. I was looking at, at my... Uh, okay, that was arrow. Uh, I was looking at my mask the other day, and I noticed that I don't have the circus leader mask or the um, uh, Romani mask anymore. And I don't... I, I think maybe, like, I the game didn't save correctly when I did that quest. And I'm like, what? And then I also think... Uh, I had an extra heart container, so I'm like, so I'm gonna have to go back and redo those quests. But you know, whatever. <sighs> oh, they're back. Wah! <laughs> you don't deserve to live anymore. Oh, now they drop stuff. Uh, whatever. Okay, so we have done literally everything to do here in the Oceanside Spider House, which was kind of nice. Again, this is the first time I actually been here. I mean, I have seen people do it and stuff, but i never actually done it for myself, so that was interesting. Um, so we're going to get our Gorn mask and hookshot up here. We're just going to make our way out uh, the way we came in. And once we do this, there will be a man here who looks strangely similar to the guy who was cursed in the Swamp Spider House. Hmm. I thought I heard some loud noises inside, and I came to check it out. This place, is this some sort of underground shelter? Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place, not for free of course, I hope this will do. So he gives us a sack of leather. Yeah, so um, this is a giant's wallet, which basically lets us hold 500 rupees, which is a lot better than our 200. That's also the biggest wallet, by the way, you can get. Um, so yeah, he trades us a sack of leather for a house. Yeah. Apparently logic in Hyrule is not, but actually it's Termina. Um, it's, it's, it's just a really nice house. Well, whatever. Um, not, still not worth a sack of leather. Okay, so, um, what I want to do next is something that it's just a quest that I want to start. We won't be able to finish it yet, but we will finish it in this cycle. If you remember, we got this Don Garo's mask uh, quite a while ago, actually. And 
we have also been seeing some frogs. I really haven't paid much to, um, too much attention to them, but they are actually part of a side quest. There are five frogs we need to find with this mask, and currently we can find four. The fifth one, like I said, we will be able to find in this cycle, which is why I want to go ahead and get this quest started, so that way, when we do find the fifth one, we can just complete the quest there, then and there. So, uh, with this mask equipped, well, I guess it doesn't have to be equipped right yet, I'm going to fast travel, and I will show you all the places where the frogs are. Alright, so the order doesn't necessarily matter, however, the first one does have to be this one. So you need to defeat Goat in uh, Snow Peak Temple. Wait, no, not Snow Peak, Snow Head, whatever. Uh, in Snow Head Temple, and restore Spring to the mountains. And just right after you do that, you'll teleport down here to where this frog is. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Donguro, the long winter has ended, and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. That was a pathetic... Anyway, uh, for that, perhaps it is because winter was too long. We must have not realized that spring has come to the mountains, and winter is for Donguro has come for us too. What a pity. Um, yeah, so where in the world could other members be, and what could they be doing? Well, I know exactly where they are, so, uh, like I said, I will show you the locations of all of them, so the next one is here. What has brought you all this way? Could it be yes, spring finally come to the mountain? What kind of angle is this? Anyway, we're in the laundry pool of Clock Town, and this is probably the first one you would encounter, but, I mean, again, there's really nothing you can do when you first find it. Uh, I understand I shall to the mountains immediately. So all I need to do is talk to them with the Dongaro's mask. It's nothing difficult. The difficult part is just actually getting to them. Um, which even that's really not too difficult. Alright, and the next one is here in the southern swamp. This is where we came for the boat cruise. And, uh... Ah! Dongaro, it has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it, no, it's pretty much the same dialogue as the last one. And next we have a battle against a giant fiery frog thing that turns into a cute little blue frog when we kill it. Yeah. So if we don't recognize this place, this was the second sub-boss in Woodfall Temple. And you can actually get to it quite quickly now that you already have the bow. So don't worry, you don't need to complete the whole dungeon again. Um, it's fairly simple to get here. And I'll backtrack after this just so you can follow along if you really feel the need to. Um, so anyway, we'll come and talk to him. Ah, Don Guerrero, it has been so long. What a, no, again, this is all, you know, all the same dialogue. It's been finally come to the mountains. It is true, I understand. So, there we go. So that, is, again, is four out of the five frogs. But that is all of them that we can get currently. So, yeah. Um... So I think that's all for this episode. This has been a fairly long episode. I think, well, I think it's long. I mean, on my timer, it says 41 minutes and 50 seconds. But of course, that was, you know, without speeding up the, uh, the, the uh, spider house and without doing all the cut going to the different frogs. So I don't know how long it's going to be, but somewhat, I guess, above average. Or maybe it's normal. I have no idea. And I got a stray fairy. Cool. Not that matters at all. Um, so anyway, um, in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're actually going to head back to Ikana Graveyard because it is now the night of the first day. And like I said, the, excuse me, um, like I said, um, the different tombs or the different gravestones lead to different places each night. So we'll see what the first night one leads to. And after that, we'll finally head to Great Bay Temple. Ah, uh, my childhood nightmare. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.